Hey Manny, brother. This one's for you, man. I uh, I just wanted to make this video a little special for you. So I'm going to go a little bit deeper into what I've uh, accomplished. Um, as you notice, I've steadied the light. Uh, it's not as bright as I still want it. I, I want to adjust the system to make that light a lot brighter than that. But for now, I did modify the system enough that I steadied it and... Uh, just by changing a few things around, I haven't even uh, changed capacitors or done any major modifications to the circuit. Uh, just changed the way I basically grounded it a little bit more. Uh, that said, I wanted to go into some detail to actually show you what's going on here, Manny. I'm going to show you that scalar wave again, okay? And as you notice, it says it's set to... Uh, five kilovolts per division okay well I'm gonna come up here if you notice here on the top there where it shows you that I'm gonna bring this down so that I can uh, let me see if I can do that oh wait a minute I'm the wrong button there All right here we go okay now as you notice that I'm gonna take it to the top of that wave to show you how many kilovolts Okay, that's eight kilovolts. Okay, eight kilovolts. Okay, of wave coming out of that circuit at about the center of the circuit. Okay, and now I'm going to show you that that's eight kilovolts, but more than that because I'm going to go down to zero over here at the center of the wave. Okay, let me take it to zero. There, that is zero. That's the center of the wave. That's zero energy. Now I'm going to go down to the end of the wave on the other side, on the negative side. And we're at seven. Let me see how far I can take. 7.6 kilovolts on the other side of the wave. So that's 7.6 plus 8 kilovolts. Okay. So it's closer to like 16, closer to about 16, 15 kilovolts of energy. Now that's all fine and dandy if you got a high voltage and you don't have any amperage. Okay. But now I'm going to do something pretty cool. I am going to show you at the end of this circuit where this is connected and it connects here. And then it goes to ground from there, from here. So basically, this is the end of your circuit. Okay. And after all that, okay. Hold on, man. It's hard to do this with the phone. This is the thing I was talking about, trying to do this stuff with the phone. You know, it's just crappy, but... I'm getting point, um, basically I'm getting 520 milliamps, okay? Now remember that the plasma ball, the circuit to the plasma ball, the USB, is 300 milliamps. So here I am getting more amperage out, okay? And it would be, that would be fine and dandy if the voltage was going down that I would get more amperage, but I'm getting more amperage and I'm getting a heck of a lot more voltage. So, and by the way, you would think that something like this would kill me. Now, as you notice, it's gone up a bit, but you know, that's because I'm grounding this and the more you ground, the higher it goes. But normally, okay, now I've got it. I let go of it. I'm not touching it, so I'm not grounding. Okay, oh yeah, by the way, this stuff works like you don't have to touch the circuit, basically. All it has to do is be close to ground and the closer it comes to anything that grounds it, like your body or anything like that, increases power. Because it's drawing the power from the earth, from the planet. I mean, this is really cool stuff that Nikola Tesla uh, discovered. And uh, it's being rediscovered now by me. And it's amazing. But no, no crap, man. It's more than... The only thing with scalar is that it seems to be that... I haven't been able to modify circuits properly to be as efficient as it probably could be, but you got to figure that it takes up more 
uh, voltage per uh, per resistance than a normal circuit does. I, for some reason, it, it just works differently than uh, than other electrical. Um, uh, what would you say than direct current and alternating current does? It's a totally different type of system, so therefore the rules are different than the rules for those. Uh, so we're looking at a whole new level of physics that uh, really has, I don't think, has been explored enough, uh, if you ask me. Um, but there it is. There's my circuit. Okay. And you think, with all this circuitry that I have here, I mean, you look at the amount of circuitry that's involved in this. And this is about halfway into the system, okay? That light is about halfway in the system. You have this circuitry and the light, okay? Okay, and then it goes through to the plasma ball. You have the circuitry in the plasma ball. Then it comes out and it goes into this circuit right here, which comes in from between ground and the, and the uh, other side. Okay, and you're looking at this, okay? Uh, you would think that you, you, you start adding up all the resistance and all the stuff in the circuit, and all I got I'm working with here is the, is the power of a little USB at, at uh, 5 volts and 300 milliamps, uh, and you're getting more on the other side. Uh, I don't know, Manny. I mean... <laughs> They'll tell you that it's physically impossible to do this, but I'm doing it. So there it is. And that's what Nikola Tesla actually discovered. And that stuff was swept under the rug, swept under the rug. Yet he left it in plain sight in the plasma ball. The plasma ball is <laughs> Tesla's secret for, a, for an oscillator that actually produces more power than it takes to run. So there it is, buddy. That's what I'm working on. Talk to you later, brother. Bye.